me now, Ginky this. Welcome back to our My Sims Let's Play. I am back from Anime Expo 2004. It was a fun time. I met some people. Um, but now I am back and ready to do some gaming, some building. Uh, last time we had moved in Jarrett, who bore a striking kind of resemblance to a another sim uh, that lived in this town. Uh, one Ray... I don't know if that's a coincidence. Two three-letter names, Ray and Rob, both starting with the same letter. Same hair color. Same haircut. Coincidence? Well, it's none of my business. Right now, we need to go in and we need to find us a new person to move into our town. Let's go. Oh! Oh, we are inviting Jimmy Watson. I don't even care who these other sims are. Jimmy! Look at this baby boy! Hey, buddy! Hey, I'm Jimmy Watanabe. Have you met my dad? He owns a sushi restaurant. So Jimmy Watanabe is the son of uh, Chef Watanabe, the sushi guy. And we're about to invite Jimmy in because that chef is gone. I'd be happy to live here in Genki Stars. Maybe I could learn to make sushi here. Yeah, Jimmy, let's freaking do it. Um, so Jimmy is a townie. He's not a... Um, uh, he's just he's a, he's a townie. He's not a uh, a commercial sim. So we're not going to be getting any new sushi restaurants. Just just a house for him and his dad to live in. All right. So the interesting thing about Jimmy is he's not exactly fish friendly, <laughs> um, but he tries to be. So we're gonna see if mm, I'm gonna see if I can think of a way to make his house kind of nice because he wants to be a sushi chef how can I make it like that I don't know how culturally accurate these uh, types of roofs are in like modern uh, countries but I think this will kind of look it, it'll, it'll, it'll get the look that I'm going for at least um, so hopefully Jimmy likes it. Unfortunately, they don't have a very good red aside from this brick. So this is what we'll have to go with. Mm, the colors don't quite match, do they? I think if I leave the door just straight red, I might have to stick with red for all of these because it just doesn't... No, I like the black. We'll just leave the, we'll just leave the door red. I think this looks good. I feel like if you if we went to like Chef Watanabe's house, this is definitely what it would look like. Okay, I think this will do. Hopefully, uh, Jimmy will appreciate it. Oh, look at his little fish house. Very simple. Oh, damn, that is a big monkey roll. Okay. Uh, and then here's the bat. Oh, excuse me. Ah. <gasps> Oh, it's like a little fish cheek. Oh, oh, I like the way they did this. Oh, that's smart. Okay. Okay. I really like this. This is, this, this is absolutely our, 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 our thing. Everything else is very simple, but I think we can, uh, get Jimmy happy with it. Hey, my guy. Wow, not bad. I bet my dad would be real proud to see me in a big house like this. I'm sure he will, my guy. Um, well, now that you're moved in, let's get our best friend status up with this boy. Let's check out his info real quick. B, C, D, G, K, J should be before K. There you are, Jimmy Watanabe. So obviously foodie into fun, not into studious, whereas I think his father was studious and not fun. Hmm. <laughs> Interesting. Fish allergies. Who cares? Jimmy is finally back in town to face his destiny as a sushi chef. 
Maybe. He has an, a fish allergy? Well, what kind of fish? Because a lot of the times it's like river versus ocean fish and freshwater versus saltwater fish. Like pond fish. Like, mm, mm, mm. You need to see a doctor see exactly what type of allergies so that you don't uh, mess yourself up when doing uh, raw fish. Or are you good with imitation crab? You might have to make American style uh, sushi if you can't do raw fish. But that's okay. Anyway, so uh, I'm going to grab a whole... So you guys are not going to be using this table for very long. Yeah, Mayor, y'all need to leave because uh, I'm about to do a whole redecoration scene with this boy. Hey, what's up? We're going to be working on a bathtub for Jimmy. Uh, I feel... <sighs> You know, you're, you're, you're the sushi guy. Your father has a... When I worked with your father, he had me make a bathtub for his fish. Uh, so it kind of makes me worried about you. Do you have a bathtub for you, Jimmy? What about your needs, my guy? You need a bathtub. Do you ever think... You, you gotta start thinking about yourself, my dude. And I have a bit of an idea. Um, I really, really liked the um, the wardrobe, the dre the the changing room that Jimmy had. I like the way they did that, where it looked like it had um, like fish just inside of it, and I. I think I can kind of replicate that with the bathtub here. Okay, so I might be kind of overdoing it. <laughs> but this is what I want to do. This is what I want. Okay, you can't be mad at me. Okay. I'll get rid of these for now. I don't need them. Okay, I think this is okay. What I also, because I want to do some decoratives as well. Um, but before we do that, let's get the rest of these little fishies. There we go. Dang, why are these fish so freaking big? And this is because I want to create a bit of a pattern for the background here. Just so that it looks a little more, more, you know? <laughs> uh, should I can get rid of this one. Okay, I had to make a couple of adjustments, but I think I was able to fit it up. And I think I like this look a little bit better um, than what I had going on. What I had before it was a too a little too crowded, a little too much. This is also kind of a lot, but I like it a lot better. And I hope Jimmy likes it too. Alright, y'all know me back on my refrigerator bullshit. <laughs> I want, there's, there's nothing wrong with this fridge. This fridge itself is a fine bit. Um, shoot, I actually didn't mean to delete it. Um, I was just going to add a couple of things. Um, because what I wanted to do actually um, was add some extra stuff mainly the the cabinet that I do on the side like that uh, that little pantry that I always have you guys know the one uh, I think that would have looked fantastic so let me just set this up I don't like the refrigerators being on the floor like that I like I like to have them lifted got me lifted gifted high than the ceiling Oh baby, it's the ultimate feeling. 
You got me lifted, feeling so gifted. Sugar, how you get so fly? Perfect. Okay. And then we're gonna get some smaller ones here. Cause this is this is just gonna keep it from looking like it's all from the same it's gonna keep this is gonna keep it looking this is going to keep it from looking like they are from the same like they're connected i don't want them to look connected i want them to look uh separated okay so here's our big shelf here which we are just gonna we're just gonna quickly fill this with stuff that looks like food it looks like a marshmallow and chocolate and i love it i think i'm gonna stick with this pattern Uh, but it doesn't quite go with the blue crab and I kind of want to keep with the uh, with that theme um, so instead maybe I'll use all right we'll replace the dark brown with this one that's not too bad it's kind of it's a little beachy but I mean where else are you gonna go to catch fish am I right uh, I think this works pretty well but I also want to add a cabinet because we're going to give him that big kitchen that I like to do will I be able to do this don't know if I can it might be too Okay, so I can't put that there. Okay, I like this. This is so cute. All right, so what I think I'm going to do is I'm going to see if I can duplicate this into being... This isn't going to be a proper, like, shelf, I don't think, just because of how it's set. I'm going to see if I can make it into a cabinet, but I... Not a cabinet, but like a... A countertop or a table maybe but I feel like I might not be able to um, so I'm gonna go ahead get this set up see if I can get some extras and we'll move on to the next project so I haven't made one of these since I want to say Shirley's place. This is an island counter. Which, um, those who know, is like supposed to be an additional. Oh no, it's just a counter. Okay. You know what? Yeah. This might actually work. Okay, 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 okay. I know what I'm going to do. I know what I'm going to do. So this isn't going to be the permanent thing. This is just going to be um, kind of like a placeholder. Not placeholder. Um, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to make three, round them off. And then I'm going to copy the, copy the pattern, like delete the middle and then move one to the other side. If that makes sense. Boom. Okay. So we're going to leave that ghost image off and then we're going to make like, Uh, because I'm not going to be able to put anything on there, really. So I'm just going to do like this. I just think that's funny. It's just like a whole freaking dead fish. 
Then you get these little guys, put them here. Oh man, that actually looks like, dude, the bacon for the sushi looks freaking delicious. <laughs> actually, like, look at that coloring, ah, that marbling, ah, I can't handle it. That, shoot, man, this actually, the sushi looks actually really good. All right, let's get that rice wine vinegar. Wait, that vinegar wine, vinegar rice, whatever it is. Oh, come on, this fish is in the way. There we go. All right, perfect. So, yeah, what I'm gonna do is I am going to copy this and then like separate everything so that they come in three pieces instead of one. Okay, my guy, we're gonna start off with your brand new kitchen. Uh, if I can get the stupid thing to move over here. Ugh. We need a mod for these controls. These controls are terrible. Okay, um, so let's start off with the first thing that I worked on, which is the refrigerator and these lovely little counters that, again, Oh, I love the way this looks. It looks so cute. It looks so precious. I really like the way that that was done. I really like the um, the way the colors came out. I am into it. Uh, and then I just did a couple of edits here and there for some of the stuff. I don't think I'll be able to fit another counter here, which is too bad, but... Uh, yeah, this guy's probably not going to fit, but you know what? That's okay. Uh, let me grab the last. Here's the counter, the counter, the counter. Oh, and here's the other half of the sculpture, which uh, I really, I really like this. I like the way I did the, the fish ready for, for chopping, for chomping. And last but not least, we have the counter. Now, the reason I wanted to do... Uh, three pieces is one because it's going to get my points up a little bit more. But two, I also wanted those little crabs. Uh oh. <gasps> oh, that piece is not supposed to be colored that way. Oh well. You live and you learn. Just keep going. Okay. Uh, where is the other side? Perfect. See, this is bothering me, but you know, what's done is done. Um, and then I made some little chairs so that everybody can eat and enjoy their, their sushi. You know, obviously whoever was sitting here has finished their meal. <laughs> Coach so some of this that they finished the whole fish. Oh look, I love look away this look just this by itself. I really like the way it looks. Uh let's see. And then since we're kinda having like a bit of a beach theme here, what with like the crabs and the, the gray and the I wanna do something kind of fun. Not quite. Oh, you know what? This pastel green works. I think it pulls it in a little bit. I like this. I really like this kitchen. I think it looks super cute. Um, and then what do we have? Not inventory wise, but decorative wise. Sim Gothic. Sim Gothic. And then I think there was, was there a thing with knives? Cooking utensils. There we go. Perfect. Love it. There we go. So this is going to be the kitchen. I like it a lot. Let's move on to the living room. Alrighty. So I did not do much because I spent actually I spent a lot of time on the kitchen and the bathroom. Uh, so all I did was a simple couch, a karaoke machine, and a fun little coffee table you know so they can like have snacks while they watch their friends dance and have fun I think this is fine something simple uh, and then since we use kind of the pink I want to do use more <laughs> get the pink I think the green looks good and then we'll put the pink here 
Look at that. See? See? It all, com it all comes together. It all works fine in the end, sort of, kind of. Not a lot of stuff to hang on the walls, unfortunately. Which is too bad, because I feel like this game doesn't have a lot of, like, wall stuff that can be put down. What about this little dragon? How big is he? Yeah, we'll put him here. Just in the back, watching. Whoops. Come back here. Alright, uh, so not much with the living room, unfortunately, but that's fine. Uh, let's get to the bedroom. Now, because he's got this big freaking thing here, all I did was make a bed that can fit here in the corner. <laughs> Uh, and then I also created just for a decorative is this lovely little flower stand, which is the, uh, Watanabe flower stand. This is the flower stand that chef Watanabe gives you. Uh, and I thought it would be appropriate because I mean, why not? Um, and you know what? Since I have this like extra stuff, maybe I'll put it back here. <laughs> Not really his style, but like I, I kind of want it out of my. Oh wait, you can get rid of this. Where'd the other one go? Hey, there we go. There we go. That's more his style. What? Why don't you like it? Because of the crap. Why is it giving? All right, that's weird. Well, I don't know why it's giving intelligence stuff. Cause it's it's got. Oh well, it doesn't matter. Um. What did they, what else, there was other food up here. Uh, I'll just leave the empty sushi dish. Okay. Now the living room looks better. <laughs> Back to the bedroom. <laughs> uh, but yeah, I didn't really do much for uh, his bedroom here because he's got, you know, so much stuff already. Um, because this takes up so much room. So I'll put that here. Uh, and then, here we go. Look, now we got a place for the fish. Perfect. Now the room matches a little bit. So his, uh, since he's got the fishies, you know what, let's do, let's go with the orange soda imagery then. There we go, that's better. All right, well that is the bedroom done. Uh, again, he's got this big thing in the, in the corner, so I didn't really make it that much. Now for the final room, the bathroom. Okay, so here is our beautiful bathtub that I worked oh so hard on. I'm gonna put that right in the middle here. You step in, this is what you see. Beautiful! And you don't need to be distracted here. As I did kind of a similar thing with the <laughs> sink, where it's more of like a um, an icy... Uh, you, you got, I don't know what areas are tropic and which areas aren't, but this uh, this one is uh, all penguins. It's supposed to be really like arctic looking. That's it's, it's mostly penguins. <laughs> uh, and then I made a quick little cabinet for the top here, and then uh, hopefully it'll fit. Uh, yeah, should a nice fish toilet. Blah 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 blah. <laughs> um, so we used a lot of dark blues here, and I kind of want to. Whoops, going the wrong way. There we go. I like the way this looks. So now you got like all of these. Fish. It's like more ocean theme, I think, than fish themed. But I think that's okay. Right? You, you understand what I mean, right? There's, it's, you see less of the ocean and just more fish. I don't know if that's, if anybody else knows what I mean. Like, I think it's, it's, I, I feel like this focuses more on the fish than just like the ocean in general. But you know what? That is fine. This is 
uh, Jimmy's new home. I really hope he likes it. I bet his dad would be really happy if he came to visit. Now let's, uh, let's see how happy Jimmy is with it. Wow, thanks kid. I'm really glad I came to live in here. I'm really glad I came to live here. Hooray, we did it. Best friend status. Jimmy has given you a new clothing. Uh, let me try this again. Jimmy has given you a new changing booth blueprint. All clothing is guaranteed to be hypoallergenic. That is awesome. Thank you so much, Jimmy. I'm so glad you like your house. Thank you for all of the blueprints. This is going to do it for today. Whoa, it got, it became freaking party city in here. Like 12 people came in uh, to hang out. This is awesome. Uh, looks like the seats are a little bit too, I think the counter might be a little bit too low, but you know what, that's fine. It's more for decoration than, than anything else. I am so happy that she's, it is, it, it's getting crazy in here. I'm going to go ahead and call the game. Thank you guys so much for stopping by. Remember that you are loved. You are appreciated. And I am so, so happy that you are here on this earth playing these games with me. Wendelin, do you mind? I'm trying to do a, an outro. So, um, until next time, my dudes, so long. And thanks for all the fish. Mm -hmm.